All right, now we're back. We're gonna go over the tools that we need to do the water pump. So um, basically, we're going to be needing just a number five Allen. I got a ball end here, um, just a three eighths ratchet. And then I got this really cool little tool kit here. Um, came from Harbor Freight, just an icon tool kit. And it's got this uh, pretty nifty ratchet. It's like a little micro deal here and then so it just basically it just uses your little bits that you get like all your screwdriver kits or whatever but there's a number five so when we go to put it in there it is literally just as tall as just my ratchet it makes it really really nice for doing Oh, I wish I could flip this around, but as you can see, it's really tight between the water pump here and the exhaust. So it makes it really nice. You can get right down inside there. So yeah, pick yourself up with those. And then not only that, but it's a, it's a quarter inch, just normal. So it makes it really, really nice doing like Harley transmission doors on our touring bikes. But yeah, so now we're going to go okay, with the parts. So the parts we're going to be needing is obviously the water pump itself and then there's a part number for the water pump obviously the gaskets part number for that and then part number for the outer and then just a man freeze this is what he's been running in it so that's what we're gonna run in it so let's go over there all right so now we're over here working on this here bike one tool I didn't tell you I need is the Phillips screwdriver to get it loosened up. But now we're just gonna need to take out all of the Allens. These are your number fives. I already got them all broke free and loosed. Um, if you don't drain it, which this one's also drained, over in the Peacock, you're gonna get a bunch of antifreeze falling out. But now let's go ahead and remove the bolts. Bam, look at that. It's off of there. We got basically just a water pump cover off. And you can see it's all nasty built up. Put the gasket off. Now, to get the water pump off, um, I've seen a lot of other guys in the YouTube videos, they, you know, they're kind of smacking it back and forth um, with a hammer to get it that little bit there. And then they'll shove a pry bar in there and just pry it open. Don't do that. That's. All you're gonna do is you're gonna mess up your gasket sealing surface and your engine case. The water pump's junk anyways. This one, it's uh, spraying out of leap hole. And uh, yeah, so what it is, is it's got a shaft on it. You'll see it, it's gonna get this off. And it's on to the pulley inside the engine case is what's spinning this. So instead of doing all of that, go ahead and mess yourself with a slide hammer okay and then you're just gonna put it right in there just like so you know what i mean you're gonna clip it on there and all the way back in there just like that all right i gotta put the phone but then you're just gonna slide it out and put the phone down so i can get it off there so literally one smack of the slide hammer and it popped right out, okay? A lot easier and a lot better than sitting there and smacking and smacking it and prying it with a pry bar. But as you can see, the gasket's toast. The bottom one was pouring out of the wheat pole. And as you can see, it's all nasty built up horribly. A nasty little socket in the very back there. That's where that insets. They got the little rubber O-rings. And that's what drives your water pump but now we're gonna go ahead and clean all that all out and we'll show you the process of installing the new one so let's go ahead and clean 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 and all right yeah that'll do now we're on to installing our actual pump first you have this the back gasket here and you can put it on either way, okay? But this raised, you see that raised portion? 
and all of its apart numbers and lettering on the gasket faces away from the engine block. So you should be able to see the part numbers. We put it on there. And then we're gonna throw on the water pump. Then obviously the outer gasket goes on black towards the outside. So that way your propeller is not hitting your gasket surface right in there. And then uh, torque spec is 86 inch pounds on this. So let's slap it in there. So just like that, got them all torqued, got our hose clamp back on, upper clamp back on. Now, that's the full install on a water pump. You just gotta fill it, you gotta pop off this here fake tank and uh, fill it up. Um, I'm not gonna dive that in depth in it. I'm trying to keep these videos a little bit shorter for you guys that just want the, the quick the quick quick on the how-to videos. I get it. I know I don't want to sit here and watch a video of every little nitpick detail. Um, if I did go too quick and you guys want to see something a little more in depth or you have a question on something I did do that might have been in a time lapse or off camera, um, just shoot me a message or uh, a comment, whatever. Um, and we'll get a little more into it on um, what went over. The drain is up underneath here um, on this side of the radiator for you guys that don't know where the drain is. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna pop this, pop this tank, tank off and get it filled up in antifreeze and hit the road. So for you guys that know how to do that, cool, you know. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. So just keep the tires down, shiny side up and stay classy. Later guys.